and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Wayfinder. As y'all know, this is my favorite deck to play. It's not necessarily the best deck, but it's my favorite because it gets to play Teemo in a different way than normal. And it's still good. It's still competitive for sure. Like this is this is definitely a, a competitive deck. It's not it's not um, it's not a bad deck. Anyway, uh, for the most part, whenever people play Teemo, they're playing it to be a one mana, one one elusive, and playing it uh, and having that body in a very aggressive shell, and just trying to have that elusive do, get chip shots of damage in, and then you know if the puff caps do anything, that's just a bonus. That's that's where people mostly play Teemo. There's not really dedicated puff deck puff cap decks that are um, too competitive, and I, this is my um, take on it that we've played a few times and it's, it's, uh, my most competitive puff cap, uh, focused deck. So not only do we have Teemo, but we have puff cap peddler to get some more puff caps in. And then of course the chump lumps to get us some more mushroom clouds. So we got all of those, uh, ways to get puff caps in our opponent's deck. The reason why this is called Teemo Wayfinder and the reason why this was, was built like this is because we're, we are a Kinku Wayfinder deck. Uh, whenever we play this, if we hit the Allegiance, we get two one-cost allies from our deck. And, of course, our only one-cost ally is Teemo. So we get to put two Teemos into play. Um, we don't always hit. We're 23 Ionia, 17 PNZ. So it's not like we're, like, super Ionia and then hopefully, hopefully you know, then always getting two Teemos. Because that's kind of difficult to... It's kind of difficult to have a deck like that and then also be focused on puff caps. We need these other P and Z cards to, to be focused on puff caps. So it's kind of a 50-50-ish proposition, you know, a little bit better than that. And whenever we hit Wayfinder, you know, Wayfinder hits it, that's awesome. We can also get multiple Teemos in play with Dawn and Dusk. We can use this. We have one Dawn and Dusk in here. Um, I remember the Dawn and Dusk worked fairly well for us. I could see, you know, I have a Jewel Protector in here just because Jewel, Jewel Protector is just a great card and just a pretty underrated card. Um, it's it's just really really solid. It's not just like oh play this in elusive to make elusives better. No, it's just awesome. Like five mana four four that you also get the other plus three plus three. It's just awesome. Seven 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 worth of stats across two bodies for five mana. It's really good. But anyway, uh, while we play this, we'll, we'll kind of see if something to think about is should this jewel protector be a second copy of Dawn and Dusk. Uh. Because Dawn and Dusk works with not just Teemo, but so much stuff in our deck. Because we have like some some elusive aspects to our deck with Shadow Assassin and Green Glade Duo, uh, being able to to get the extra damage in in the air and using Dawn and Dusk on either of those cards is pretty good. Dawn and Dusk on like a Peddler, if we can play a bunch more spells that turn, like if we have Mushroom Clouds, we can get a whole lot more Puff Caps. Um, or on uh, on the you know, like the Chump Womp, we can get a bunch of Mushroom Clouds. Or, of course, we have Karma. So that's the other thing, is, is we also can play a really good late game because of Karma, and Karma is just s such a strong card. All right, anyway, we'll we'll stop talking. That's enough talking about the deck. T Teemo Wayfinder, it's a good one. Um, the only, But like I said, the th one thing I'm thinking about changing is getting a second Dawn and Dusk instead of the Jewel Protector. So we'll kind of see how it plays. Um, and here we go. So yeah, five mana seven seven, and not just a, not just like a, a seven seven that you know you just jump block and everything. It, it uh, it's a seven seven that goes across two bodies, which makes it even better. Let's get rid of karma and. Uh, jump up's a good card. I think we'll get rid of it though. Just have it out of our opener. Darn. Of course, we want you know hitting Teemo in your opener is the best possible thing, especially with us. Attacking turn one, so I wanted to mulligan a little bit to look for Teemo. But alas, we did not get there. If you hear that in the background, that's, that's rain. It is. It's raining here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it in the background over like the music and everything. Oh, I didn't update our. Keep on forgetting to update the boards between 
the videos. I need to get the PNZ board. The Teemo. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. We have two Wayfinders. Hmm. This is tough. Let's just see what they do. Yeah, they're going to turn that on. My gun does the talking. All right. Extra hands never hurt. Yeah, Demo. So there's only one other Timo in the deck. So, you know, like playing a second Wayfinder um, isn't the most effective because there's only one other Timo in the deck. Oh, really? That's that's good to know, Josh. I did not know that. I did not know what that loadout button did. But okay. Um, so playing Chumpwump. Yeah, I'm gonna play Chumpwump. Like <laughs> this flips Teemo and gives us a card to disc, you know, a good card to discard to get excited. Honestly, maybe just discarding the other Wayfinder is something that we want to do. Lead our Demacia, now and forever. Bleh. But like, get excited, I have. <sighs> hmm. Everyone here? Let's go. Oh, we missed. Really wanted to get a third Teemo. And then be able to... <laughs> Double these puff caps twice. Um, charge? So, so obviously we're gonna kill Senna. So that's us taking lethal still, so we can block here and here. That's us going down to two. Could play it. Safer and block over here. Won't have twin disciplines available right now, though. Next turn, we're looking at seven mana, so I will have Green Glade Duo plus Karma next turn. Well darn. We were behind, had to, you know, take risks. We were about to have double Teemo double up those puff caps. But that Cythria. I liked where it was until that Cythria. Making all those things fearsome made life a lot more difficult. Hey, Rusty Wombat. What's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Bringing the hype into the chat. Thank you so much there, Rusty. So, Garen Darius, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of Karma. We could see getting rid of Shadow Assassin also. A 
Lots of Garen around these days. Lots of Garen. I think it's kind of because Garen is so good against the Shadow Isles removal. There's also lots of Shadow Isles. And even just like the P and Z removal. Neither of... Neither of those regions, you know, get rid of Garen that well. I mean, obviously, Shadow Isles can for very expensive. But... So obviously we could have just gone straight to attacks with Teemo, but these two, I'm not really thinking they're going to have like a unit they're going to play that, you know, they're not going to have like an elusive thing to block also. Ah, uh, you always keep Karma in your opener. Yeah, I just don't, don't think you need Karma in your opener with this deck. Don't think you do. Ooh. So Shadow Assassin uses our mana better, but man, we could have like a completely insane Oh no, don't don't be like that. They just played a zero mana fleet feather tracker. Don't be like that. No. No, don't be like this. Don't kill my Teemo. Yay! I didn't kill Teemo. But anyway, like those Greenglade duos were about to be insane with the Wayfinder. All right, come on, let's hit. Come on, Wayfinder. Extra hands never yes! Oh, it feels so good when it hits. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Three Teemos turn four. And then our, our next attack, our next attack, we can, uh, you know, Dawn and Dusk get some more Teemos. <laughs> I was gonna say, what if they had, like, you know, they are Noxus, like, what if they just had Death Lotus, the deal one damage to all battling ally, you know, all the battling creatures? Even with, like, all those one toughness things? Like, that would have been sad. All right, well, bad news, they killed Teemo, so they only got 15 puff caps right now. I don't have any more Teemos to go grab with Wayfinder now. Gosh, this opponent's a jerk. Play all these things that kill my Teemos. We're only going to be down to one Teemo at most. Remember me. Our ancestors are watching. <laughs> so they're... Looks like their whole strategy is just big challenger. And then... Um, and then redeemer. I said I want three Teemos. Teemos. My heart and sword for Demacia. They cannot hide. All right, doubled, doubled, and doubled. So they're at 14 and then 28, 56, 112. Yeah, 112. How many drawn? Five? Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, our deck's awesome. I'll take care of it. 47 cards, 107 puff caps. Hmm. Oh, the other cool thing about Karma, by the way, with this deck that I didn't mention when I was talking about earlier, is that whenever you do Enlightened and flip Karma, then um, we'll bring I'll just play it, even though Chump on Shadow Assassin may be better. I will bring honor to the 
Rude. Uh, whenever you do play it, then... Um, wait. I can't just not block. <clears throat> Sorry, then... I'm trying to say that you can double up the mushroom clouds. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Darn. <laughs> just thinking about everything else. I was like, what to do? Come on. Yeah. How many they get? Six? <laughs> Good job, Timo. Got 11 puff cap damage there. And it is pouring rain outside. My grass was already long and needed to be cut, and now it's gonna be it's gonna be so long now with all this rain. Hopefully my lawnmower can handle it. Alright, so that game was sweet. That's that's what our deck's all about. That's why, um That's why this deck's so fun to play. A lot of variants in this deck, you know. Um, you know, does does our allegiance hit with our Wayfinder? Our deck's a lot better when it does than when it doesn't. And then, you know, after they get puff caps, like how many puff caps do they draw? Um, so there's a good amount of good amount of variants, but it's okay. That was weird. That could have been like joined a match with the wrong deck. I've done that before, and then you just quit right away. But that was like super fast. Ooh. This is like the perfect. Um, perfect Teemo hand of just of the getting like the lots of Teemos. So the Dawn and Dusk also would have been perfect, but Dawn and Dusk isn't that great against Ionia because of Deny and Will of Ionia. Both of those breaking it up. It's really hard to get Dawn and Dusk to resolve against Ionia. So, you know, against like, especially, you know, like this Karma kind of deck. So that's why I moved it. Um, any reason not to play Green Glade Duo? Nope. No reason. Says you. They're going to be going for just turn three, six mana spell. That's their whole plan. That's a cool card. Just don't get the challenger, please. Get something else. Come on, really? Sweet. No. Fair enough. All right, come on, Wayfinder. Come on, Wayfinder. Oh no! Oh no, we drew Timo. No. That means we can't hit two Teemos. <laughs> um. Armed and ready. I got ways to find the mushroom. So I guess we'll wait on that. The order works with faithful. All right, got punished. It's too late for you. For not just attacking first. I don't even know why I would play that first anyway. Oh, I played it to, to pump up the power of the other thing. That's why I played it. That's what I was playing.
This is bad. This is real bad. This is real, real bad. That Mage Seeker Persuader may have just won my pot this game. Two mana, four, three challenger. That probably just won them this game. I know, so many challengers. Ugh. Yuck. Get him. You're so rude. I don't like my opponent at all right now. Not letting my team do anything. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we definitely try a Karma long game win, but they have a million cards in hand. So it's going to be tough. Where there is life, there is hope. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. And they are matching my... They're matching my karma. Whoa, they drew four puff caps. Extra hands, another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Only have the one Teemo left. But their plan is to play six mana plus spells, which is kind of the goal of their deck. We have a good we have a good plan against that. Stop having single combat. That's not good, because I have to use a deny on that thing. And now I don't have a deny for an ex a good expensive spell. Yeah, that was... That was their third single combat. Use three single combats to kill my three Teemos. Yeah, I already have all the champions now. Reptile, so... I'm just doing construct it now instead of the expeditions. Well, it's gonna be tough for us to win this now. We can do this. Very tough. I'm so sad. Right out. I just killed all my Teemos. Every one of them. Yeah, it is. It is a good reminder for other people, though, that, though, that the the um, expeditions are you know, tomorrow. The ex expeditions are uh, reducing in power. My spirit is unquenchable fire. All right, so we're one and two. So the thing is, is we can't we can't win this anymore. We really can't. Deny does does nothing against uh, a leveled up karma.
Okay, even if you don't finish it today, if you just start it today. Can't believe they had three single combats. Kill every single one of my team members. I drew all three. Yeah, you know, I did work to get my Teemos in play with Wayfinder. This is a, a deck that's playing, um, like this is the deck that's playing like some some spells that are really good to deny, like the the five mana spider spell, and they probably have atrocity and things like that. So I wanted to keep the deny, and then I wanted to look. Besides that, I wanted to give myself a lot of chance to look for Teemo because we want turn one Teemo since we have the attack token. Unfortunately, we drew two fours, two fives, but. That was my mulligan decision. Correct. Yes. If you if you cast a three mana spell with karma, then it's six mana for Lux. Yes. And then, uh, and then you cast your final spark, and then it's two final sparks. So now is not the best time to draw a Teemo because you know I want them in the deck since we have two Wayfinders. Um, they played this; they don't get to Vile Feast now. Uh, I attack next turn and they Vile Feast Teemo. Do I counter it? Maybe. I mean, honestly, maybe I should have kept the pe the Peddler. There we go. Cool. We drew a Peddler. I don't think I deny a Vile Feast. Do I? Don't think so. The reason to deny Vile Feast would be that, you know, we're planning on playing like Wayfinder, then Karma, and Jewel Protect. Like, we're planning on just playing these the next few turns, and we're not going to ever be able to cast Deny. So, like, do I just want to basically not have Deny available? And that, that sounds like that, that sounds like a plan. You know, go go with these and and just not keep deny available for later. Timo does do a good job of eluding chump blockers, like spider tokens and Everos and Sentry. Come closer. I don't bite. Never hurt. No. I'll take care of this. So young. Struggle. They'll enjoy it. My true beauty. These last two opponents have had just kind of had everything. So we have two options: Wayfinder to hopefully hit two Teemos and hit him with three Teemos. That play. Um, then they, they play spider, you know, then they kill all my stuff with spiders. Or karma, look for spells. Yeah, I think I'm saving the Teemos. I think it's karma, look for spell. Or we could do jewel protector. No, I'm going to do karma, look for spells. Whatever the cost. Yeah, Wayfinder Whiff definitely hurts. 
Oh. Alright, well, GG. Shouldn't have used that denier earlier. Yeah, we're a high variance deck. We're definitely a high variance deck. I would normally really like the control matchup, which is the one that we just lost to, but that, you know, having the two mana 4 3 challenger and a triple single combat, those two, like that combination, killed us. Ten puff caps right now. Sure. I get it, your spiderlings are unbeatable. I get it. All right, let's go. No, it whiffed again. It whiffed again. Man, double Wayfinder whiff. When opponent has a hand as good as that, we can't we can't double Wayfinder whiff, obviously. All right, one more game. That kind of stuff can happen. So get the get the good and the bad, but it's a fun deck along the way. All right, I think this this will be the game. Turn one, Teemo, and then we attack. We haven't had that yet, have we? We haven't had turn one Teemo yet. Okay, we're winning this one. Against Anivia, Trindamir, we got this game. Okay, maybe not with this hand. Hmm. Those cards aren't, they really aren't bad to have for this matchup, but I just want turn one Teemo. And I want to maximize my chance of drawing of having turn one Teemo. You can see the Demostian border from here. Hey Krabby! That's my resting face. Alright, let's go, Green Glade Duo. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. We do have every single deny. We'll be denying, that's for sure. That gives him eight. So this is 16. I really wish I had six mana. I wish I could mushroom cloud them and play Teemo, but still have deny available as far as attacking goes. Um, I can just Teemo with deny backup, but it's probably better to have Teemo flipped first. So I think we just attack for two. Fight 
I kind of want to bounce. What if I bounce this thing? I know they get to replay it, but it does kind of take their turn of them replaying. No, not this turn. We're going to bank the three mana. We'll play the Teemo first. Because now they're not going to have a three mana thing that's going to kill my Teemo. Alright, two puff caps. Stand together. Excuse you. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Don't want them drawing the cards yet. I want them drawing these cards after after I give them more puff caps, right? So I don't want to don't want them to draw the cards yet. Up to 17. Hmm. This is unfortunate. Because now I don't have another deny available for something else that kills Teemo. Please don't have another thing that kills Teemo. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Will of Iron. Maybe I should have just taken the five. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, we got this from here. Um. No. Keep the eight mana. All right. Double that up. They're up to 38. Yeah, team of flip animation is really good. I like that level up animation. And now we're gonna block these things, have them have them draw cards. Yeah. The more cards they draw now, the more. Hmm. The more puff caps they get. All right, so eleven mana. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can still play this as ten, eleven. The Yordle here with me. And now we go block, block, block. Where are you going? Hold we'll just block that thing too, just in case. What's really the just in case with that? Like, why, why do I need to block this thing? What can they have? Can't really think of anything they can have. Where are you going? Oh well, I'll still block it just in case. Of course, shooting our own green glade duo so they don't gain the five lives. Yeah, this one's over. Uh, draw some more cards. Draw some more cards. All right, tough call here. Um, get excited is lethal right now, but then it's not the puff caps killing them. If I if I'm if I'm cute and pass the turn, they can have like grasp the undying and withering whale and things like that that gain life. So even though I would like it to be the puff caps killing them, really, I mean the puff caps did kill them. Get excited is just doing three damage, but the puff caps did kill them. All right, so good. So we waited on the Avaros and Sentries, waited to block those things and let them draw cards until we gave them, you know, 40 puff caps, and then gave them those cards. <laughs> yeah, I keep getting those puff cap animations. This deck is sweet. Sure, we went two and three, but this deck is sweet. Uh, I think. I think that's something we are... I think next time, I think I would recommend going with another Dawn and Dusk over Jewel Protector. That's also another high-risk, high-reward card, Dawn and Dusk is. You know, it's it's very high-risk. It's very easy to blow up um, with, you know, removal in response to whatever you're targeting. So it is very high-risk. 
but it's very high reward also. So I think I think we'd go with that high risk, high reward. The jewel protector didn't really, it wasn't, you know, anything that was that necessary in any of those games. Kind of wish we could get more Teemos in here. Like, I don't think it's worth playing, you know, like counterfeit copies to put more Teemos in the deck to be able to grab with more Wayfinders. Like, I don't think it's worth doing anything like that. Or, uh, what's the other one? Isn't there, what, isn't there an attacker with, yeah, this thing, the Parade Electro Rig? I don't think it's worth doing either of those. But there are times, there's definitely been times that I've played the deck and our Karma just makes counterfeit copies. And then that's kind of cool, like where you can, you know, if, you're, if your Karma gets you a free counterfeit copies, then you're like, sweet, get some more Teemos. And then that's pretty cool. That's that's happened before. And then, then your Wayfinder has more things, but... Um... Yeah, overall, the uh, metagame is kind of slow. There's a lot of control in the metagame right now. And this deck is is kind of good there. It's good against control. Uh, that's that's your better matchup. You, like, that's your best matchup because then this the longer it takes for your opponent to kill you, the more time they have to draw poison puff caps from their deck. And then also, you know, like you have like the karmas and everything. It didn't work out every game for us, of course, but... Um, I think this deck's actually in a pretty good position right now. And it's a sweet deck. <clears throat> All right, but there we go. So that's Teemo Wayfinder. Always a fun one to play. This is one that I'm going to play just every few days because it's my favorite deck. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck or anything else. And if you want your deck played on stream, as you know, it's $10 donation. Donation link down below you can either donate for your deck list or whatever uh, deck you want me to build i can do that for you too but anyway there we go that's team of wayfinder so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video